What's up guys, it's your boy Tom here today and before we get into the video I just want to say something really quick. I want to thank all of you guys, 10,000 of you for subscribing to the channel, thank you so much. I'm a lot in the last year and I want to thank everybody. I want to thank my editor from the beginning, first part, who stuck with me. I want to thank Sean for his room night for a video on the bridge, it's really awesome. And I also want to say a big thanks to my new editors, Cara and David. So, thank you so much to them, thank you to all of you guys for subscribing, thank you for the comments and likes. But anyway, to celebrate the 10,000, we're going to be doing the advanced stoke dancing tutorial. Now, as the name suggests, it's advanced, so it's not going to be easy. So, I suggest go back and check the tutorial beforehand before you watch this one. Okay, let's get down to the first move. Alright, so the first move I'm going to show you guys is the wrist rotation tuck. So, the wrist rotation tuck is the first tuck I learned this to do. Now, for all you who don't know what 20 is, it's all the straight hand movements like that. Okay, so they're not easy to do. Professional hand tuckers take a lot of time to do it, but what I'm going to teach you guys first is a simpler one. So, the one I learned first basically just goes like this. Okay, that's all you have to do, right? I know you're kind of like, that was pretty good, but I'm going to explain to you guys first. So what you're going to do is, right, first of all, you're going to rotate your hands out so both your fingers are touching like this, right? So you're going to make that kind of shape so you can look through like that. So you're going to rotate, touch like that, right? When you get to here, you're going to bring your hand over, or you're going to pull this hand at the same time. So by the time you get to here, like that, and your hand goes like that, you're going to put your arm like that, okay? Now, you can do that, right, or you can move your head with it. It gives you move more movement, so it kind of looks better. So remember, rotate, touch, cross. Now you're going to bring your hand down, right? So this wrist is going to go down like that. This hand, down. this wrist is going to stay jived like that. And it's going to go down. So you're going to go down like this. And you bring your hand over like this. So this is still going to stay in contact with that. So look, you haven't broke contact since they come down. So when you get to here, you're just going to hit it and it's going to click up like that, okay? So that is the basics of that move. So if you guys can practice this move, one move at a time, you can start experimenting with different types of hand touches. Okay, look them up, give them a go yourselves, but make sure you give this one a try. Okay, let's move on to the second one. Alright, so the second move I'm going to teach you guys how to use the toe spin. Now the thing that the toe spin is, it is very difficult. Alright, I know it looks easy, basically this is what it is. Okay, no it looks smooth when you do it, but it's very difficult to learn how to do it, right? Now, and it is going to put a lot of tension on your toe. Now, you didn't, and now I didn't do this, okay? Right? That's doing that from the bottom of your foot here. You're going to be doing it there, right? So, make sure you're putting all your pressure on this part, the, the side of your toe, right? So, what you should practice is, if you can't do the full 360, right? Put your, put your strongest foot back, stick at your toe, and just do 180. So, instead of doing 360, go from there, okay? Just back and forth like that, right? And if you're confident enough that you can go from there to there, do a full spin. Okay? This move will put a lot of pressure on your toe, but it's good to add in civilization. You can add in to shapes and those ones. Alright, so let's move on to the last one. Okay, so the last thing I'm going to show you guys how to do is the fallback. And the fallback can be used in both putting shapes and dope dancing, but it's specifically good for dope dancing. Now, I didn't learn this move straight away at first, I had to slowly learn how to do it over time. But what you should do to start off the move is slowly fall back, right? So what I did practice was, right, you position your legs out, okay, so they're, they're more than shoulder width apart, so you have a lot of spacing, right? You place your hand like this, right? You go back slowly until eventually you can touch the door, okay? Now, yeah, this is going to put a lot of pressure on your quad and it's going to require a lot of hands kind of like, you know, strength to push back up, right? So, when you get back to here, right, you're going to push with this hand and you're going to push with your legs back up like that. Okay, so if you watch the hand, right, you spring down and back up, okay? So, obviously, if you guys have noticed like this, kind of spin like that so we don't fall back over. So you might fall back a couple of times, don't worry, you will when you're learning how to do it, but just make sure you keep practicing. Okay, that's the last one. Thank you so much for watching guys. That is the tutorial for today, but make sure if you want to check out some other tutorials, go and check out our Facebook page. We've got smaller condensed ones and other dance videos. They will be on the channel's main page. Also, if you want to check out my Instagram page, it's there too. Until next time guys, thank you so much for the 10,000 subscriptions, there are going to be plenty more videos coming up and all you guys got to do is hit that subscribe button, keep liking and commenting and you know I will answer you back and I know you know I'll bring out more for you, alright? Until next time guys, stay strong and keep dancing.